students. Today we are going to read The Animal's Santa by Jan Brett. We've read other books by Jan Brett before and we know that she does a fantastic job with her illustrations. She likes to give us little peekaboo windows that we can use to make predictions about what might happen next in the book. She also uses a lot of patterns. Let's read The Animal's Santa and find out if there's a pattern, something that happens again and again throughout the book and use those illustrations to help us make predictions. The Animal Santa by Jan Brett. It's your first Christmas Eve, little snow. The Animal Santa comes tonight, Big Snowshoe told his little brother. Who is the Animal Santa? Little Snow asked. We don't know who he is, Big Snowshoe said. Did you ever see him? Little Snow asked. No, the forest animals chimed in, but we find presents from him on Christmas. So here are those little peekaboo windows that I was talking about. We can use those to think about what characters we see, what they're doing, what might happen next. Last year, I found a heart-shaped wishing stone on my pillow when I woke up, Big Snowshoe told him. I was asleep when I heard ding-dong, ding-dong. I opened my eyes, and this little bell was right there next to me, the porcupine said. The raven twins called. A puzzle toy was hanging from our tree branch on Christmas morning. We woke up and found a tasty sack of plump acorns. The squirrel cousins chattered. Someone left me a brush to fluff my beautiful tail, the arctic fox said proudly. Little Snow hadn't said a word. Wouldn't someone have seen his tracks in the snow, he asked. I think you are fooling me. No, we aren't, Big Snowshoe said. Are you notice anything about these illustrations? The same characters seem to be in those little peekaboo windows. And they seem to be doing something with all these different things. It looks like they might be making things. Little Snow wasn't sure who the animal Santa might be, but he believed he would come on Christmas. We think he's a badger, the squirrels chattered. His thick fur coat keeps him warm in the far north. No, the raven twins called. There's always snow at Christmas, and if there's a blizzard, it would take a polar bear to find his way. I'm sure he's a moose, the porcupine told them. He can plow his way through deep, snowy drifts. What do you think? Do you think any of them are correct? Who is the animal's Santa? I haven't seen a pattern so far in this book, but that seems to be the question. Who is the animal's Santa? He could be a wolf, the Arctic fox said, smiling. There's no animal's Santa, Little Snow shouted, and anyone who thinks so is silly. I believe there is, Big Snowshoe told him, but he wished that he had seen the animal Santa so he could really be sure. Do you think there is an animal Santa? Who do you think it is? I think that's the problem in this book. We have to figure out who the animal Santa is. Nobody knows. No, 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 Little Snow thumped his thumper foot so hard it shattered the ice on the stream. Broken bits slid across in a starburst, making jingly jangly noises. What a beautiful sound, Big Snowshoe thought as he helped his brother up the bank. It's starting to feel like Christmas. Let's go home and get warm.
The rabbit family snuggled down for the night. Maybe tonight we'll see the animal Santa, Big Snowshoe whispered. Snore. Little Snow mumbled at him and fell asleep. Big Snowshoe was wide awake. Suddenly he had an idea. He crept out of bed and went down to the stream. Big Snowshoe picked up the lacy pieces of broken ice and carried them home to make ice chimes. He pulled up strands of hedge grass. He tied them to the delicate pieces of ice and hung them from the branches. There was no wind, so the icy pieces stayed still. So we see all the animals asleep in their burrows and in their homes and in their nests. It was midnight when a silvery note rang through the forest, then another and another. It was Big Snowshoe's ice chimes. The rabbit family and other animals woke up and jumped out of bed. Is it the animal Santa, they wondered? The animals did not see anyone or any tracks in the snow. Then, as if falling from the moon, a bundle of sweet clover landed at their feet. The animals looked up as one gift after another fell from the sky. Were they from the animal Santa? A white shape flew silently above them. Little Snow shrugged. It's only a bird, he said. As if he had heard, the snowy owl turned back and called out, Merry Christmas, little friends. Everyone look! Little Snow pointed at the sky. It's the animal Santa. Look at all the wonderful things he has. Do those look familiar? Have we seen any of those before? I wonder who made them. Little Snow waved at the snowy owl and whispered into the night. Animal Santa, now I know that you are truly Truly true. Was there a pattern in this book? It seems like the only pattern was the animals saying they didn't know who the animal Santa was and then saying who they thought it might be. That's really not as strong of a pattern as we've seen in some of Jan Brett's other books. Was there a real problem or a real solution in this book? Not a real problem, but there was a mystery. They all wanted to know who the animal Santa was. Who was it? That's right, it was a snowy owl. Thank you for reading The Animal Santa with me today.